Works here. Um, this is going to be a quick update video with a couple of feeding clips. And as you can see, I have my collar off when I'm home. Um, this, I think it's like nine stitches or something in my neck. Um, over the next couple of years, you're not even going to be able to see that scar. But uh, I have mobility back in my neck. And uh, every day there's less and less pain. Yesterday was a hard day for me, but it happens. But my neck feels a lot better, and I'm getting better. Um, the first update we're going to do is Sarah and Edward Tyndall, the Brachypelma Vegans. Remember when I rehoused him? He really wasn't doing much. Now he's taking all the substrate. He started putting up over here. They're going to move it around in there. And then he started digging himself a burrow. And, uh... Sarah over here, she's been uh, all over the place. She had a big open window and then she closed it back up and there's another little window there and she just she's constantly rearranging. Um I believe these two are in pre molt. I think this is like a roach leg or something. Whatever that is, it's now out. But that is her home. Give her some water. She needs some water. So we'll just give her some water. Just wet down one side of the enclosure. If she wants the witness, she can go to it. And he's still pretty damp in there, so I don't have to give him any water, but that is the latest update on the Bracky Helmet Vegans. Everyone, this is an update on our piece, excuse me, piece of Theria Ornata, the fringed ornamental. She is right there. You can see her shiny little Buddha. Spuda. Spuda butt. Um, she is in pre molt right now. And, uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on her. Can't wait to see the size that she's gonna gain. So look forward to that update. All right, everyone. This is the Kilobrachis fimbriatus. Um, I believe she's in primo because she started closing off her burrow here and her burrow there. Um, she did open up a huge window over here, then got rid of it. Now it's this tunnel over here. It was all the way down there. The other day, um, I noticed she was out. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see those pictures. But, um... She was out and about. I took the lid off. I think my hand was like right here. She was on this web. I took the lid off. She skedaddled on my hand. And nobody else was home. It was just me. So I'm chasing her around with the catch cup like this. Trying to get her in. And then finally I had to go like this. And tap her in with the paintbrush. Um, it was quite the experience having about a three quarter inch fimbriatus on my hand. Um, but it was an unintentional handling. I do not recommend handling old worlds. That was not a good idea. But yeah, that's the update on the Fimbriatus. Alright, this is our Avic Avic. She is officially in pre molt. Again, um, I don't know if you can see her. She's somewhere right here. Um, here bum bum. Alright, she actually refused a very tiny roach the other day when we fed. So that to me told me. She is in pre molt and it's going to be about another 30 days or so until she molts. So this should be quite um, interesting. The piece of Theria Vitata, the ghost ornamental. Um, suspected that she was in pre molt but she kind of... Did open up a little bit, so I'm going to try to feed her. Let's see, the problem with making cages look aesthetically pleasing to you is it's hard to, to feed. Where's the roach go? It went that way. Not in the... Nope, not in the burrow. Is... I did a lot of work trying to make this look pretty for me and my fiance to look at. And where she made her home, 
pain in the ass to uh, try and get in position to feed her. You mean pain in the butt? Yeah, that, that word. Hey, come back here. I don't want your cousin, I want you. Get off my tongs. This is my first time actually doing this since uh, my surgery, so this is a little interesting for me. I'm like rusty, dropping roaches. I don't think these things can't really like bite me. What's happening in there? I'm not sure if I went in the bar or not. Looks like it did. Looks like it walked this way. But if you don't see no action in there, most likely she's in pre molt, and then I gotta find that roach and take the roach out. But <coughs> that'll be pretty cool if she is. That'll be a another pokey molten and. Uh, can't wait to see the size that she gains, because she gained some pretty good size after her last molt. So, that's the piece of, theory, piece of theory of Regalus. Um, for some reason, she decided to drop a leg. Um, let's see. Right here is the missing leg. I don't know what made her drop it. Oh, baby. But... She dropped it. She's having a really hard time climbing. Um, she's been on the substrate for, what, a week? Yeah, about that. She's been on the substrate for about a week, but based on that reaction... Hold on, let me, let me try again. Are you hungry? Well, maybe she's hungry. She hasn't eaten in almost a month. And, uh... I don't know what's going on when she walks... If she doesn't eat, I'll try to show you. But when she walks, it's a little... I thought it was DKS, but people on Facebook are saying it's not DKS. But no, she's not going to eat. Um, let's see if I can show you what I mean by her movements. But see, she can't go up the wall. And she seems like she's having... Trouble with everything. All right. I'm not going to stress her out anymore. I'm hoping she molts out of it. But if anybody has any ideas. What's going on with her. Please leave it in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, everybody says it's just pre-molt. It's just pre-molt. I'm hoping it's just pre-molt. Um, if anybody has any ideas. Please. Please let us know. Um. It, it's very sad. I don't like to see any of our tarantulas in any type of discomfort or dropping legs and not knowing why they're dropping them. So if anybody has any ideas, please let me know. Time. We deal with this little guy. Trying to feed him. He... Stop moving your hand. Never wants to go back in his enclosure. Which is a versi color. And he's usually very calm. Oh. He, uh, you know, sometimes he throws threat postures, but he always gives us a run for our money trying to get him back in his home. He'll do this and then try to get him to go down so I can put the lid on. Usually he runs right back up, but he's going to cooperate today and I'm going to put the lid on before he runs away. So. Alright, everyone, this is that. a Serrata Jars Darlingy. Um, we're going to give him a quick feed. In case you guys didn't know, um, there is a Fatal Fangs challenge that um, Sam from Bug Realms um, is challenging younger YouTubers and bigger YouTubers to go up against each other. The winner gets a t-shirt, a mug, and 100 pounds or equivalent to your currency. So I believe that's 128 US to spend that for us. It would be fair not. 
Um, it's just a feeding competition, and I'm just honored to actually be a part of it. So hopefully, you can get a new clip. Just uh, it's gonna be on Tarantula TV. So just uh, stay tuned for that. Come on. What's he doing in there? Can you see? He's like staring at it. Come on, big guy. You've been a savage. Look at this. Oh, now you want to come out? That was awesome. Yes. I hope that came out nice on camera as I saw it. A little finicky on that, but he might go in the primo after this meal, but that was good. That was good. I hope you all enjoyed that. Alright, everyone. This is our Samopoas Armenia, the Venezuelan sun tiger. Let's see how she does. Look at her. <laughs> wow. Wow, that is uh that's one hungry tarantula if I say so myself. Hope you enjoy that quick. That clip this it is was our fast. Kilo Brackus Wahini. Forgot to update you on this one. Um as you saw before there used to be substrate that went along here. She since opened it up and I just dropped in two roaches and then she bit them both and then ran away. So, pre molt from the Wahini, and I can only imagine the size that she's going to gain, because she gained size after her first one. So, uh, stay tuned for that update, everyone.